Hi, and thanks for joining me today. Let's make a Dignity Scarf. Dignity Scarves are designed to look like and be worn over a person's regular clothing to protect them from mealtime mishaps. The idea is to provide dignity to the wearer by having it not look like a traditional bib. Many organizations use these in the care of the elderly, hospice patients, and those with physical challenges. For this project, you will need 60 inches of woven 100% cotton print, plaid, or solid for the front, and 60 inches of 100% cotton flannel print, plaid, or solid for the back. You will be able to cut three Dignity scarves from these materials. And please pre-wash all your fabrics before using. You'll also need scissors, pins, or clips, a sewing gauge, tape measure, fabric marking pen or tailor's chalk, a sewing machine in good working order, and machine needle size 90 14, universal all-purpose or sharps for woven fabrics, and good quality thread. Don't limit yourself to just florals and pretty prints. Humans come in all shapes and sizes, so use a variety of prints, solids, and plaids. Try to stay with 100% cotton materials as they are more absorbent than blends. Just remember, we want it to be functional as well as provide some dignity to the wearer. Start by pre-washing your material, then cut each piece to a 60 inch length. Trim off the printed selvage edge from both fabrics, but be careful to not take off too much. Now cut your fabric into strips that are 14 inches wide by 60 inches long. If you measure carefully, you should be able to get three strips each 14 inches wide from the width of the materials. Now you should end up with enough fabric to make three scarves. The Dignity scarf we're making today is made with two layers of fabric, so I'll set the rest of it aside. Take the 14 inch by 60 inch long piece for the front and fold it in half lengthwise with the fold towards you and the raw edges away from you. Find the center point, which should be at 30 inches, and mark it. Now along the raw edge, mark 8 inches on either side of this center point, which should fall at 22 inches and 38 inches on the tape measure. And last, make a mark at the center point 4 inches up from the fold. With a fabric marker or chalk, draw a line between the 4 inch up from the fold mark outward to each mark you made on the raw edges. This is your cutting line to shape the neckline. So go ahead and cut this wedge off and slightly round your cut at the center point. Now lay this on top of the flannel backing and use your front as a pattern to cut the same size of wedge out of the flannel backing. Open up both the front and back pieces and lay one on top of the other with the right sides together. Pin or clip the raw edges together, leaving a space about 5 inches wide open for turning. Stitch or serge the two layers together using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and remember to leave the spot open for turning. Clip the four corners and then turn the scarf right side out. Fold under the seam allowance where you left it open for turning and press around all edges. Top stitch all around the perimeter of the scarf making sure to sew the seam allowance closed where you had left it open for turning. Last, we are going to make a box pleat at the back of the neck. A box pleat is formed by bringing two folded edges together to meet at a center point of the material. First, with the flannel lining facing up, find the center back of the scarf and place a pin there. Now, you're going to be dividing the width of the center back into four equal sections by first folding it in half lengthwise to find the midpoint. Then fold it in half again and mark the two folds. When you are done, you will have marks in three places. 
to divide the back into four equal sections. Replace your center pin with a chalk line and then pinch the fabric at one of the pinned lines and fold it towards the center chalk line and secure that pleat with a pin. Repeat this for the other pin, pinching the fabric and folding it to the center to form the second pleat. Last, sew these pleats down with one line of stitching through the center back and don't forget to trim your threads. Here's what the box pleat looks like on the right side and this is what the box pleat looks like on the lining side. Ta-da! Your Dignity Scarf is done! The finished size of this one is approximately 13 inches wide by 59 inches long, but you could easily make one larger or smaller by cutting it out accordingly. I found that the friction of the flannel helps to keep it closed, so I didn't add any buttons or snaps to this one, but that's something that you could easily do. I like the way the pleats fall from the shaped neck area. It gives the scarf good coverage across the front while eliminating bulk around the neck. Thank you for sewing with me. I appreciate you all so much and everything you do for our partner charities. You are changing lives one project at a time. Please contact me with any questions you may have and thank you.